So you wanna go to BCU, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Things I can't change you the reason you love me. What's up, players from the Himalayas? My name is Shamora, and today I'm going to talk about 10 things I wish I knew before I went to college. Now, if you're looking at this video, you're probably 18, and you probably think that you're finna live your best life. But little did you know that college is finna knock you the F out. <laughs> no, I'm not playing. So make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe. Subscribe. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's jump into it. Okay, guys, tip number one, parties. So you're probably thinking that you're going to come to VCU. You're going to go out every weekend. You're going to meet new people. You're going to do some illegal activities. You're going to catch a charge here and there. You're going to get arrested. And you're going to make some college memories. <laughs> well, you're not. And I'm about to tell you why, okay? Nine times out of ten, you're not going to get into a party. And here's why. Okay, so first you need to find an Addy. Nobody know where the Addies are at. I'm just gonna be honest, nobody know where the Addies are at. All I know is that around 940, you better be dressed so somebody say, hey, I have an Addy, you're ready to go. If you're a guy, you need a ratio, okay? You need at least five girls. No girls, no party. They're not going to let you in. And even sometimes when you have a ratio, you're still not going to get in. Some of these parties, they have lists and everything. You're not on the list, you're not getting in, okay? Also, never pay for a party. All the parties here get shut down at 12 o'clock. Pay or not, you know, they, they get shut down at 12 o'clock. No refund. You just wasted your money and you're bored. So you feel me? So if I was you, I would get some Uno cards, some Phase 10, go fish, because you're going to spend the majority of your time in your dorm. Food. So when you first get here, they have this place called Schaefer's. They're going to trick you. You're going to think it's paradise. They're going to have lobsters, crabs, fried snakes, anything you could think of. Everything going to look good. Do not fall for it. A week later, all that's gone. Like, everything. Everything is just nasty. It's just nasty pizza. Everything's just nasty. Stay away. The best place to go is Jonah's. Now, you do have to catch a bus over there, and you may get robbed on that bus, but that's okay. The food will make you feel better. They have wings. They have Wing Wednesday. You can't beat Wings Wednesday. You feel me? Um, we also have Panda. We have um, Croutons. We have Pizza Hut, Subway, Chick-fil-A. We have IHOP. I used to like IHOP, but I'm not going to lie. It's this heifer that worked there, and she have a nasty attitude. I'm pretty sure you're going to see her. If they fire her, I would give IHOP a good rating. Anyway, moving on. Advice number three, your love life. So you're probably thinking you're going to get here, and you're going to meet the girl of your dreams. <laughs> Control all, delete. It's not happening. Your best bet is Tinder. And that's because everybody here is antisocial and bougie. Okay? Only thing you got is Tinder. You're only gonna be swiping left, right, right, left, left, right. You know? So I advise you this summer to take some great pictures to upload to Tinder because you're going to need it. And you might want to buy a Snuggie because you're gonna need that too because you're going to spend a lot of your nights alone. Advice <laughs> number four, activities. Now this is more positive. Um, VCU have this thing called APB. Make sure you go to all the APB events because they give away TVs, um, phones, groceries, concert tickets. They took us to DC. They take people to the movie theaters. Just make sure you go when they have bingo night. They even had like Wild and Out here. So it, that's very fun. Um, we also have Rick Life here. You can join a frat or sorority. Um, I can't join because I got blacklisted whatever that means but um they look like they have a lot of fun it's too bad I, I can't join at the moment um so have this we also have carrie street gym they have a lot of stuff they have like uh classes pilates cycling classes workout classes that's very fun and if you're feeling like dora we also have bill owl you know you go explore or whatever you could go jump in the river hop across a couple of rocks you know go get bit by a snake you know, come back with a tick on your balls, you know, it, it's whatever. Well. Roommates. I had two roommates. I had, it was this one crazy wigger. I said wigger. He was crazy. He needed to be in a straight jacket. He wasn't right in the head. You know, he was trying to kill us and everything. That's why I ended up moving out. And I had this other roommate. I call him Condom because he always thought he was going to get some action from some girls. And he never did. And it just always, the condoms just started to collect. He just had like a big pile of condoms. 
on his dresser because he never got any action. He thought he was going to smash, but the only thing he ended up smashing was food. You feel me? And then that's when I moved to the suite. <sighs> All right, so when I moved to the suite, uh, my roommate, he was really nice, really cool guy. He stank though, like, he stank. That's the only problem that we had. He ended up moving out, as you can see, he's not in here no more, he ended up moving out. I guess he got irritated because I kept spraying him, spraying him with Febreze and stuff, coming because he, he stank, he stank, you feel me? And then I have two sweet mates. Um, one sweet mate, she's really nice, I love her, she's really nice, a little nosy, but she's really nice, whatever. The other sweet mate, she can go to hell, like for real, she's always complaining. You know, always causing problems. Her guests always causing problems. I'm tired of her. I almost caught a title X. No, I don't even want to talk about it no more. All right. The only advice I could give about that is um, with roommates, just make sure you pray. Make sure you pray and bring the Bible because you're going to need it. Advice number six, professors. This is very important. Make sure that you pick your professors carefully. Go to ratemyprofessors.com because um, one of my professors, she had one star, and I see why she was my calculus teacher. Um, I ended up getting a .5 in the class, not even one, a .5 in the class. I had to withdraw. I think everybody ended up failing the class. I honestly don't understand why she's still here, to be honest, but um, it's very important. Like, I even went to like the tutoring center and everything, and yeah, I still couldn't pass the test. She didn't even know how to do it herself. And what make it so bad, she was teaching from a Canadian textbook like, we, we are in the United States. Why are you teaching from a Canadian textbook? Like, I don't know. She, she was just weird. So, you know, make sure that you pick your professors carefully. That's very important. Five stars or three stars, maybe. Three stars and little seven classes. When picking your classes, do not pick early classes. Like, in high school, you could wake up at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning and go to class. But you're in college now. You're getting old. You know, your body can catch up. You're one year closer to death. You know, you feel me? You're getting old. You need all the sleep you can get. So don't pick up, don't take classes at 9 o'clock in the morning. You're not going to make it there. I have a 9 a.m. and I haven't been there since day one. Only, only time I go is when we take tests because my body can't take it. You feel me? So pick classes later in the evening. Okay? Don't be hard headed. Now I know some y'all gonna be hard headed. Y'all gonna do it anyway. And remember this video. Price number eight prices. Prices in Richmond is very high. Make sure you have some extra money. Because you're going to run out of swipes if you're swiping too fast. I got carried away. I ran out of swipes. You feel me? Now I'm eating oatmeal and dusty Pop-Tarts and stuff. Struggling. So make sure you have like extra money saved or whatever. Um, there's a lot of homeless people. I get you want to help homeless people. But some of them are just scam artists. You know, um, I almost got jumped by two homeless people. That's another story or whatever. But, you know, um, save your money because everything is high. You know, you're going to spend at least $50. You know, there's no Dollar Tree. Nine. Advice number nine, friends. So when you first get to college, you're going to have like a lot of friends. You're going to know everybody. You're going to feel great about yourself. Then after a while, you're going to have some of them friends that start being fast and want to be hoes. You're going to have some of them friends that think they pimps. You know, everybody's just going to disperse. It's okay because at the end of the year, everybody gonna come back again. Once they go out in the world and adventure, they're going to come back. So you feel me? And college is an opportunity to make new friends or whatever. So, you know, uh, but also be careful for the thoughts around here. Cause it's a lot of them, okay? Um, I'd rather for you to be lonely than burning. Cause you will burn. Because some of these thoughts, thoughts, however you say it, I'm from the country, I don't know how to talk that well. Some of these thoughts or whatever, they catch a lot of bodies. They catch a lot of bodies. And bodies come with STDs. Some of these hoes catch more bodies a week than R. Kelly catch cases. You feel me? So, um, watch out for that. Number 10. Number 10. Financial aid. There's no need going. You know, um, them heifers in there are evil at the front desk. When she make it past, the front desk is not that bad. But the front desk is just evil. You know, they have attitudes. You're going to have to get nasty with them at the front desk. I had to get nasty with a couple of them because... Their attitude just out of control. So you feel me? Um, make sure you apply for scholarships. Save money if you have to strip. If you have to pull a cardi, you just have to pull a cardi. You feel me? Because um, financial aid, they're not going to help. They don't care. I know a lot of people. So anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you still come to VCU. Please come to VCU because I want to meet some new people. We could be friends. We could be friends, guys. So please come to VCU. So I won't be lonely anymore. 
Um, but that's just like the things I observe here or whatever. Everybody experiences different. I know some people here that's living their best life. I know some people here that's ready to go home and go to community college. So hey, it's all what you make it. It's all what you make it. It's up for the parties. The parties you're not getting into. So anyway, make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you subscribe.